Hello everyone and welcome back to John Bill's Iconic Models. So in today's video I'm going to be working on this uh, hand painting the hull of this uh, S100 and this is something I've been working on these uh, last couple of weeks. I've gone from a section of obviously hand brushing and also a combination of the both or view hand brushing and also air brushing but I thought a lot of people would be quite interested in the uh, the technique of uh, hand painting as I put on my uh, community page quite recently I'm quite surprised with the votes that I got to how many people still hand paint I talk a little bit about the hand painting techniques I'm using in today's video okay so I'm using a very flat brush around about uh, about 15 millimeter brush and I'm also using a wet palette and I'll talk about the wet palette a little bit later on in the uh, video but as you can see I'm working in around about a two inch section so I'm trying to fill in all the area I can and I'm always trying to keep a nice wet edge and that's the uh, the purpose of using the uh, the wet palette and the wet palette is it's just a little container and it's just filled with a sponge and then obviously that sponge is obviously covered in water and on top of that sponge I've added a piece of baking paper and then that keeps the, uh, the paint from completely drying out. So you can see I've just put in my paint neat on top of the baking paper. I've not watered the paint down at all. And all I'm doing is actually mixing the paint on the wet palette. And the good thing about that is it keeps the paint incredibly uh, wet because normally when you're hand painting things the trouble is, is it's very difficult because most things start to uh, the paint starts to dry out and obviously as, as pretty much as you're finishing a two inch section of the hull you can already have a dry a dry edge which you don't need you need a continuously need a wet edge so as you can see in the uh, as you look at the hull now as a painting that you can actually see that you can actually see the three sections where I've painted, but that's just as the end. Paint's drying at, at different levels. But the area I'm working from when I first start the new two inch section is always a wet edge. But after I've laid down the paint, I'm always going back in long sweeps and trying to make sure that I apply the paint in one continuous movement. So when you're painting in this keel section, you have to just make sure that once you've painted one leading edge, you just have to flip over and make sure there's no paint building up on the, uh, the other side of the leading edge. So now we'll paint around the edge of the uh, propeller prop shafts and this is quite difficult same again you just have to make sure you come from one side then lay off the paint and then brush it in as one continuous sweep and then turn it over and do exactly the same on the other side but just constantly making sure there's no paint build up either side And then once you've painted the uh, prop shafts, then you can just carry on filling in the sections of the hull, pretty much like we did before, just laying on the paint first, and then just finishing off in a nice continuous sweep. But same again, because we're using a nice wet palette, the, uh, the two inch section we've worked on before will still be wet. So like we've done before, it's laying the paint down with just continuous brush strokes and then finally just going over it with a continuous sweep just to blend in all the paint. So 
these are always the hardest parts where we're going to work around the supports for the uh, the prop shaft but you say same again he just obviously put the paint on a little bit in smaller sections but then still trying to lay off in the continuous one direction after So when you're painting around support brackets and propeller shafts, this is where you have a good chance of paint build up, especially when you're kind of having to paint inside the uh, part as well. But once you've laid off your paint, you just have to make sure that you just uh, finish off and fine off all the edges, just to make sure there's no uh, paint building up. So all we've got to do really now is just paint this rudder of the S100 and this hull will be complete. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this video, I hope you find it useful that you can kind of still make really good results of hand painting and I'll see you all again soon.